Welcome to this inspiring message by Reverend Simpibidiakon, preached at the High City Church, Crispo City Cathedral, Kaswa. God bless you as you listen. Mind of worship. And I believe your power is present to heal. And your power is present to liberate. Even as I give this short exhortation, O oh God, visit your children, O oh God. Send your healing power, O oh God. And let us move on to the next level of our lives. Any barriers that have risen against us, let those barriers be broken in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help us so we'll move on to the next level in Jesus mighty name Amen, Amen. Oh, give the Lord a clap of him Hallelujah Amen Alright you may take your seats and I believe it's a great time to be in church and the power of God is available to liberate us if you have a Bible, so a Bible, dear. I want you to turn to First Peter chapter five. Verse one. 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 Verse Verse one. Verse one. Verse one. Verse one. Verse one. Verse Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye, all of you be subject one to another. Be clothed with humility for God. For God resists the proud. If you say irade is a hand time for and give grace to the humble. Not the Adam Eman your brain of wasi. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God. And unti brawasi shanya mea basake siena se. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. That he may exalt you in due season. Casting all of your cares upon him. Because he cares. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion, walk it about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfastly in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace who has called us unto eternal glory by Christ Jesus that after ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish and strengthen and settle you to him be glory and dominion and it to me forever and, and ever. I wanna da 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 Amen. da da. Amen. All right, we have been trying to understand why a lot of people struggle in life. Yeah, purpose here, but you said the entire don't wanna idea every word break you. There are a lot of people who have been trying to make ends meet in life. Don't wanna share some kumbenya diumbi di word break you. But their life has been one struggle to another from their childhood. So my brother, both through my friends, they have tried so hard. How many are preparing? How many are from? They have tried so hard. How many are born? How many are born? Yet they have achieved so little. Then so. And one of the main reasons why a lot of people struggle in life is because they are unaware 
of the presence of a great evil in the world. They are unaware of the truth and reality that there is an evil power in the world. But the Christian faith hinges on two things. The fact that there is an evil power in the world and that evil power was here before we came. The power didn't come because we came. The evil power is already here. A lot of people are unaware of the presence and the reality of the operations of this evil power. Even those who claim to be aware of the presence of this power have a warped understanding of what the power really looks like. So either a lot of people are ascribing too much power to the evil power or they are ascribing too little power to the evil power. But our Apostle Peter is giving us a certain picture. A picture of what you are actually fighting against. A picture of what is actually trying to stop you. A lot of people don't know what they are fighting. So they fight with a frivolous and an indifferent attitude. They are not up and doing for the fight for their lives. So Apostle Peter is giving us an idea uh, of how or what the power actually looks like. And Apostle Peter says that that power is like a lion on rampage. He said our adversary like a roaring lion is walking about. So the real power that is confronting your life. The thing that you are really up against is like fighting a wild lion. Nobody ever a wild lion with a frivolous attitude. Very often when we are even up against a dog, we don't take that dog for granted. Much less, much less, to joke about a lion on rampage. A lot of us joke in life because we don't know that the devil that is after us is like a lion. He's not seeking to bite you, he's seeking to devour you. There is an evil in the world that wants to destroy you permanently. That evil wants to devour you, wants to swallow you up. It is not just stealing a little thing in your life. It is actually killing you completely. So the devil is not just after your marriage. He is after your very life. The devil is not after your money. He is after your very life. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, as the truth of God is coming to us, you will find redemption from this evil power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I said, in the mighty name of Jesus, He said, Your adversary, the devil, is roaring like a lion seeking whom he may devour. Oh, the devil wants to destroy somebody tonight. Oh, but you are not the 
person the devil will destroy. The devil wants to destroy somebody tonight. But the devil cannot destroy you. Because you are set foot into this conference. Because you came to this meeting. The devil cannot destroy you. A lot of us take the devil for granted. But I came to tell you don't take him for granted. If you give the devil an inch, he will take you on a two mile journey. There is an evil power trying to stop you. And it is time for us to master that evil power. And Apostle Peter is preaching to us. He said a lot are struggling with this life because they are taking their enemy for granted there is an enemy after your soul there is an enemy after your spirit there is an enemy after your very life and tonight I came to exhort you that it is time it is time to rise up and take your life out of the mouth of this enemy called devil. I speak over your life tonight. Any evil power from your father's house and mother's house that is coming after your life to devour and to destroy you. May the Lord deliver you from such an evil power in the name of Jesus there is a real evil in the world as we step out of this building walk out with the consciousness that there is an evil power which is trying to stop you. But glory be to God that you have what it takes to overcome that power. I thought you say amen to that. Amen. I said you have what it takes to overcome that power. Apostle Peter spoke to the church. He said there is an enemy out there. He is walking about and roaring seeking whom he may devour. So you be sober. The first problem with a lot of people is that they are drunk. A lot of people are drunk with their beauty. A lot of people are drunk with the shape of their body. A lot of people are drunk with their height. A lot of people are drunk with their qualification and certificates. Some people are drunk with their family name. Some people are drunk because of the boyfriend they have. But the Bible says if you can overcome the evil power then be sober in your mind. A lot of young people like us are not sober so they get destroyed. When you go to our basic schools a lot of people get destroyed because their minds are drunk some people are not even thinking right some are so drunk with the things they have that they behave in such a way that you wonder what is wrong with them if we can overcome this enemy called the devil what you need is not anointing oil what you need is not anointed water what you need is to be sober in your thinking don't get drunk with the things that you have don't let your beauty deceive you don't let how young you are deceive you don't let your money deceive you. Don't let your beauty deceive you. Don't let your handsomeness deceive you. Because some people are more handsome than you are. 
They are in the psychiatric hospital. Some people are more beautiful than you are. They are dead and they are in the mortuary. Some are richer than you are. They are sick without a cure. But tonight I came to speak the word of God. That as you humble yourself, as you become sober, as you submit yourself under the mighty hand of God, my God whom I serve, and whom I belong shall preserve your life. He 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 shall preserve your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh, yes. oh yes. That's right. Some are more educated than we are. But they are in a wheelchair as I'm speaking. The devourer have devoured their health. Some are more intelligent than you are. But go to the roadside. They are standing there prostituting because the devourer if you said your chairman no have gone access to their lives but you tonight the Lord will preserve you from destruction the devil is looking for someone he may destroy but tonight by the mighty hand of the Lord you are delivered from habits that are destroying you in the name of Jesus anything you have been struggling with that you are unable to break free from because you came into this region. May the power of God touch your life right now and deliver you right now from that evil power in the name of Jesus. Am I preaching to you? He said, be sober. Think clearly. Think clearly. Don't be deceived by your hips. Some have bigger than yours. They are still struggling with life. Some have smaller than yours. Life is easy for them. Just be thinking very clearly in your mind. Some are more educated than you. Life is a greater struggle than yours. Some can't even write their own names. They have a better life. It is all about who God will deliver tonight. It's all about who can believe the word of God tonight. As I preach the word of God to you, I have a very short message. Be sober in your thinking. Don't let the things you have get into your head. Don't let the things you have make you disregard God. Don't let the things you have make you take God for granted. Tonight you will respect God. Tonight you will be submitted to God. Tonight you will think very clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. I said in the mighty name of Jesus. I said in the mighty name of Jesus. The second secret to overcome the devil is not anointing oil. It is not anointed water. It is not anointed handkerchief. All those things are important. If you came yesterday, I anointed you with oil. I believe in oil. I believe in the power of God. But if you want to overcome Satan, if you overcome every evil power, then number two, you must be vigilant. As you go to the market, be vigilant. Because not all that glitters is gold. Am I preaching to someone? When people are speaking to you, be vigilant. Because not everything they are telling you is actually like they have told you. From today, from today, any kind of blindness, 
any kind of blindness that make you take things at face value right now may that blindness be healed in the name of Jesus may the blindness be healed in the name of Jesus from today I said from today I said from today I said from today you will wake up you will be vigilant in the name of Jesus sometimes people behave in a way you wonder why they are living that way the reason is simple an evil power has blinded them an evil power is not helping them to turn right. what they are doing is destroying their lives Yet, even if you speak to them, they will not listen to you. It's an evil power. I say it's an evil power. I said it's an evil power. I said it's an evil power. power. But tonight, I said by tonight, as you have submitted yourself under the mighty hand of God, your eyes are being opened. Your understanding is being enlightened in the mighty name of Jesus. As you step out of this place, you are receiving the spirit of discernment. You are receiving the spirit of discernment from today when you have to deal with people your eyes will be open your eyes will be open to understand the reality of what you are dealing with in the mighty name of Jesus I said in the mighty name of Jesus I said in the mighty name of Jesus I said in the mighty name of Jesus as you have submitted yourself under God and as you have started thinking clearly May the Lord enlighten your vision. May you see very clearly when you come to church and your pastors are preaching. May the Lord open your eyes to see the light in the gospel in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me give you the third one very quickly. If you really want to overcome the devil, it, it takes more than just being sober. It takes more than just being sober. I said it takes more than just being sober. It takes more than 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 than, than just being vigilant. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. But it requires resisting the devil steadfastly in the faith. If there is a habit you want to break tonight. Remember that it will not happen sitting on a bed. You are going to fight against going back. I say, am I preaching to someone? If there is something that you want to break free from, it will not happen sitting on a bed. You are going to fight against that thing. He said, resist him steadfast. A lot of us are not able to live life because we don't resist enough. Am I preaching to you? We don't resist enough. You don't resist enough. Listen, you don't resist enough. Most of the problems in your life look back into your own life. It was because you were not thinking clearly. Many of us here right now, me inclusive, there are so many things we have done in life. If we can turn back time to do it again, we will do it differently. Because at the time we were doing it, we were not thinking clearly. Am I preaching to you? No, sir. Am I preaching to you? No, sir. Everybody who will be honest with himself or herself 
will go back and tell you that if only I was thinking so badly. There are certain things I have done I wouldn't do. Am I preaching to you? No, sir. Am I preaching to you? No, sir. Uh, listen, a lot of people will tell you if only I knew what I know now. Some of you have trusted even the wrong man. Or you have trusted the wrong woman. And you sit down and tell yourself if I knew what I know now I would have made a different choice. Who can relate with what I'm preaching? It looks like your life. Yeah. Uh-huh. There are so many things. And so Yakos Kunia can be said, Had I known it's always at last. Had I known it's always at last. I write a story ending with Had I known it's always at last. Uh-huh. This is a very good story. Had I known. Listen, some of us have lost opportunities. It is the devil that made us lose that opportunity. But the real problem is not the devil. The real problem is the way we were thinking. The real problem was what we were focused on. The real problem was how much we fought. If you ever see a fish that is taken by a hook, it means that the fish was not thinking right. What make you think that a fisherman love you so much that he will go and look for worms to come and feed you a fish in a stream? Is it your birthday? That's the question. So if you see any tilapia that was taken by hook, the problem of the tilapia was that the tilapia was not thinking right. If only you were thinking right and clearly, you will know that onipetimu yesum. That's right. And you will not trust a fisherman. <laughs> But a lot of fishes, they trust the fisherman because they don't know the character of the fisherman. Some of you are trusting the devil tonight. The devil has made you promises. He has made you promises that there is gratification in sin. But what you don't know, it is a hook and a line. The devil does not love anybody. Don't follow the bait and be taken by a hook. Lift up your right hand and say, I think clearly from today. Some of you didn't watch. I said, Some of you didn't watch. Have you ever seen a worm so stiff like that before? This worm in the stream you are going to eat is not shaking. Very stiff. And you are going to, may the Lord open your eyes to be vigilant from today in the name of Jesus. Can I tell you something? Many years ago, I lost my nephew. And that day, that nephew was sent. Somebody sent the nephew. And he was knocked down by a car. And died instantly. I'm sure the person said if only I knew I would not have even come out of my room how many of you have been there before listen the Lord would empower your vision tonight I pray that the Lord will heal your eyes in your head that's right I pray that the Lord will heal those eyes from blindness from today when you go to sleep your ability to dream 
about the future is activated in the name of Jesus. Am I preaching to you? You will go to bed and you will have a dream and that dream will preserve you from harm. That this lion can never have you for lunch. He can never have you for lunch. If he misses the way to your house, you will fight him off. You will tell the devil that devil if you didn't get anywhere to rest, this address cannot be your resting place. You will fight off sicknesses. You will fight off. You will fight off things that the devil wants to throw at you. I speak over your life tonight. I release the Holy Spirit upon your life. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 I will pour my spirit upon all flesh and your young men shall see visions. May you receive the ability to see visions and interpret visions in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight and I pray for every fruit of your body. The Lord would enlighten your children. They will not go to a place where they will be hurt. The Lord will lead and direct them. Jehovah shall be a defense over your house in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord preserve you like never before. Listen, as you keep coming to church, may the Lord activate the prophetic in your life. You will not need a prophet because the prophetic grace has been released over your life. Now, in the name of Jesus, receive it. I see change coming to your life. The Lord will preserve you in the name of Jesus. He said, Be sober. Be vigilant. Because there is a devil out there. There is something out there in the community that wants to destroy you. But tonight, I said, But tonight, I said, But tonight, I said, But tonight, may the God I serve, who is mighty to save and to deliver, may He become your deliverance and your salvation in the name of Jesus. As we stand up to pray. Yes, sorry, I'm the grace of God is released upon your life. The Lord would exempt you from danger. The Lord would exempt you from danger. I said the Lord would exempt you from danger. The Lord will preserve you from danger. The Lord will preserve you from danger. The Lord will keep you safe. As you go out out, you will be blessed. As you go in, you will be blessed. He will bless your basket and your water. Any power that will ever rise against you, I rebuke that power tonight. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve you. 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 May the Lord the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve you. Can you be on your feet and just begin to pray? May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve you. Receive the Holy Ghost even as you pray. This Holy Spirit will activate the prophetic. Your eyes will be open. Your mind will be activated. Your spirit is coming alive. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shout up. Oh yes, pray. Yes, Lord. Pray.
God bless you for listening to this powerful message from Reverend Cynthia Bediakon. You can connect with Reverend Cynthia on 030-290-5244. Follow Reverend Cynthia Bediakon on Twitter at Pastor Cynthia and on your favorite social media site. Just search for Noah Cynthia Bediakon. Visit Reverend Cynthia's website at noahcynthiabediakon.com and the High City Church's website at highcity.org. Listen and download very powerful podcast like this in your favorite podcast app. Just search for Noah Simpibidiakon Podcast. God bless you.